you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today is Legend Saturday, which means I got my market talk for you guys coming later today. Another video that you guys are going to really enjoy. And we got the Legend Saturday 1030 content. Now, guys, pretty cool Legend drop. The only thing I kind of wish that they didn't drop this one card now, because or these two cards both now, only because with the way the positions are and the free nap players we've gotten and kind of how the game's trending, these are the two positions I really can't use right now, although they are really awesome cards. And to be honest with you guys, EA, I feel like they've been taking our feedback lately on certain cards, because in years past, they'll give us new cards that had certain stats that were so bad that like it made the whole card useless no matter how good the rest of the stats were. And this year they're really upping the stats. Now, if you guys have played Madden long enough, you kind of know already the trend of this guy's first legend card always has bad speed or like yesterday they dropped the Rob Gronkowski. Rob Gronkowski's first card always has like a 78 speed and everyone's always like, this card isn't usable. Like although his catching stats are amazing, he's pretty much a glorified Zach Ertz. And people always complain and people can never use the Gronk. So this year they've really changed it up and they're kind of with well, some cards. Now I can't say all, but for the bigger name cards, they're really going all in like the Randy Moss, Matan, the Bojacks. They're really making these cards great and really not giving them too many weaknesses. Like that Gronk is actually usable with an 82 or 83 speed. But in years past, he never was because they always gave him like a 78 speed. Even later in the years, even later in the year, when speeds are crazy high, he's getting like 82, which at that point is still the same thing as like a 70. So they're really making changes in certain departments like that, which they did do with these new legend drops, because typically these two type of cards, especially one of them, you guys will see everything we get into the video. You know this one guy's infamous for having bad speed on his first card and no one could ever use him, but they actually made him really fast, but the issue is his position. But guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, guys. We're so close to 10K, 9.3K as of now. We're 700 away. Let's make that a reality as soon as possible. Also, today is the final day. Most likely I'll be doing the daily giveaway, so I will be doing another 100K giveaway. All I gotta do is go down below, and like the video if we get this video if any video today hits 600k 600k 600 likes i will be giving away 100k all you gotta do to enter is like the video the video has to hit the threshold and comment down below 600 uh, 100k but if we do not hit it that's fine guys don't worry i will be doing more of these throughout the year i'll probably do another one like in two weeks when most feared starts or depending on maybe the drops next week now like i was saying with the stats so this one guy has a pretty good speed that and you know i'm gonna just tell the players now so the drops that we got today were brian erlocker and jimmy brown as the brand new legends now you guys don't know brian Erlocker is infamous for his first card being high 70 maybe low 80 speed and he has amazing everything else like textbook tackling like everything's amazing but he always has bad speed in his first card so people are like that kind of sucks can't use him which makes the whole legend drop kind of a wasteful weekend this year they're not going that route which i'm really happy about because when they do go that route it's always sucked like oh i love brian Erlocker, but his speed's too slow can't use him oh i love this card or like a new running back because i love this running back because shady mccoy flashback right they did stuff they used to do stuff like that like shady mccoy you're so excited for him 85 speed and you're like okay well now i can't use him but i'll get into all that guys let's head on over to the twitter screen to go over both these legends and all their stats in detail all right, guys, so the first legend we're going to be showing you guys is Brian Erlocker, 91 overall, middle linebacker. He's got two little fly swatter looking archetype. I don't know what that is, but you guys know better than me. He's got 38 salary cap, which again, for you salary cap guys, you know whether or not he's worth it. Pretty cool card art right there. Some throwback bear unis. Obviously, legends, 91. Now, to get to his card, he's six foot four. That's one of the biggest things that Brian Erlocker always has. It was massive height. He's, he's one of the taller linebackers that's ever played. Not the tallest, obviously, but definitely above league average at height for linebacker. Now, typically, to show you guys what I mean, all these stats are amazing, but typically his speed's really bad. So in years past, you'd see him with like an 82, like an 82 strength, 90 tackling, 90 play rec, 84 shedding, 86 hit power, 85 zone, or even more. But then his speed would be like a 70, 79, 80, 81. And you're like, okay, well, now I can't really use him. There's a lot better options. We got the free Shazier, which I'll get to that in a second. But for the meantime, his stats are an 85 speed, 85 excel. So they gave him really good athleticism for a Brian Erlocker card. Because typically what he sort of lacks in speed compared to Shazier and Devin White could be made up with his other stats now this year it's more likely because his speed is so close that you could justify picking up this card and being way better in other aspects but in years past he'd have like an 80 speed and 79 you're like i really can't justify even for the better tackling and stuff with the way running backs and receivers and their speed and quarterbacks right now you can't justify having a locker out there but at the meantime he's got an 82 strength 90 tackling 90 play rec so he's a threshold tackler threshold play rec really high block shedding for a linebacker right now 86 hit power which i wish was a little bit higher but i'll take it in an 85 zone so he's pretty much the one of the most well-rounded upper tier linebackers in the game right now he can he's a secure tackler he can recognize plays really well like you know he just 
He's always he would put himself in position. He could block shed on blocks. I wish that was slightly higher though for an Urlacher card. His hit power is an 86, so he can lay he could lay the boom, but I wish that was more closer to a 90 because it is Urlacher. Maybe give that a 90 and tune down some other stats. But I guess they gotta tune down at least something to give him the speed. An 85 zone, which is really good zone coverage right now, because most linebackers don't have standalone zone value right now if you're not using them. So he's a great card to just have out there as your other linebacker that stays and does his own thing, and then you could use your Shazier. Now the issue with Urlacher that I was referring to is that we have most people have free Shazier and free Devin White. And if you don't have them, maybe you're going to get free Bobby Wagner. There's like three very usable linebackers right now that for free, and you only start two. So it makes it really hard. Like for me, I can't get Urlacher. I really love the card, but it'd be dumb for me to get rid of Sh uh, Shazier White for Urlacher. And like I said, Devin White, let's say would be the one I could trade off. He has an 88 speed. So for end good hit power and decent other stats. Now, obviously, they're not as good as Urlacher stats, but that 88 speed is kind of game breaking. I felt it quite a bit on pick. Like when I get an interception, I could run that back to the house the whole way. Even running back struggle to chase him down. So it's like it's like an offensive player almost to that sense. Like I get plenty of user picks with him, but when I get user picks with other linebackers, I can take it like 15, 10 yards and I get uh, tackled. Devin White has the ability to return it back like Deion Sanders sometimes. So it's very useful. I've gotten plenty of pick sixes. Really opens up the game for me when I can do things like that. And then again, I have Shazier, like most people don't want to power down their team captain. So that's kind of been the dilemma I've been stuck at with guys like middle linebackers. Now for the next card is another position that again, there's other cards that just came out just like him and things that I kind of, I would have loved to have gotten this card any other week. So the next card on the list is Jim Brown. One of the greatest running backs of all time out of Syracuse, if I'm not mistaken. Now this card a few weeks ago would have been on my team. Because if you guys already know, the Twitch Prime, Jim Brown got armbar. So I'm hoping this car could be one of the first cars with armbar, which would make him pretty unstoppable. He's got that architect that kind of looks like a speedometer. And then he's got, he's obviously going to be trained up. He's got 46 for his training value. I don't really know what that means to you guys, like I always say. But you guys know better than me when it comes to that. Pretty cool card art. Looks like he's kind of crapping his pants right there, though. Um, old unis, obviously. He played back in, like, I don't want to botch this, but I want to say, like, the 50s or 60s. He played a long time ago, maybe even longer before that. Maybe more the 40s, 50s. Well, I think he was the first African-American running back to win the Heisman in college. So, you know, Jim Brown has a quite a history in the NFL and quite a history as a football player. He's six foot two, so he's very tall for a running back. 89 speed, 88 excel. Right now, this has some top tier running back speed for a power back. Most power backs don't get speed like that. He's got 86 agility, 89 carrying, 64 catching, 81 elusiveness, 87 truck, 90 bird tackle. You power this guy and chem him up, he will have 90 speed. 89 excel 90 carrying almost 90 trucking and above 90 break tackle this car is going to be a monster he's going to be just like bo jackson very similar and if he can get arm bar or any of those top tier abilities that go on a power back he's going to be one of the most unstoppable running backs right now the issue is that we have saquon barkley coming out within the next like i think in like what is it five days from now four days from now we have saquon barkley coming out which i've kind of already prepared for saquon with this high break tackle and some of his other stats so i'm kind of already ready for him so at that point, Jim Brown isn't as exactly as useful as I wish, but I really did want Jim Brown. If this card had dropped instead of Marcus Allen earlier in the year, I would have been hyped for a card like this. But I mean, he's kind of interchangeable with Barkley. They're going to have the same speed, same similar excel, similar carrying, similar. They're going to have similar stats. The only difference is what they're going to get is abilities. I'm hoping that Jim Brown can get armbar. If he does, that's kind of game breaking. Kind of want to try out armbar, but we'll know as of today at 10:30, which is right now when they drop guys let's head back on over to the madden screen real quick before we close out this video so it is 10:30, so that means the legends did just hit the probably just hit the packs which means they'll hit the block in about five minutes which video will be over by then but you guys don't have to see them there you guys already know i showed you the stats the legend fantasy packs as usual they are never late with their bundles they are spot on with their 10:30 bundle drop as per usual guys there is the eight legend times fantasy bundle with 86 plus overall and like i always give you guys this advice this costs 12,000 madden points this costs 5,850 for five. If you buy two five bundles, it will cost you about, I think it, what is it, 11,700? No. Hmm. Somewhere around, it's gonna be cheaper, it it's gonna be cheaper to buy two bundles than this bundle, and you get two extra packs. So what it comes down to, would you rather spend a little less money and get two extra Legend Fantasy packs in exchange for the 86 plus? So pretty much you're paying an extra $3 on this bundle for 86 plus and you lose two packs so it's up to you guys if you value two extra legend fantasy packs over the a uh the eight bundle with the bundle at the topper so if you think that that topper will be better than two extra packs it's up to you i really don't know personally i haven't opened much of these packs to really know the 86 plus most likely is going to be a legend set piece it also could be a full legend or a month 10 player so take your chances on that or you can get two extra legend fantasy packs so it's all up to you guys but that is about it for the video Hope you guys did enjoy today's legend content video. I really do like today's legend, especially Jim Brown. Looking at his stats now, I really do want that card. Maybe I'll power down Mark Allen and get Jim Brown and Saquon as my two running backs. But then the issue is I kind of want, 
I kind of want to wait for Barry or LaDainian Tomlinson, so I might have to just wait on those anyways. But guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video. I got some heat today coming, guys. I got some good videos. We're going to have a good week of Mutt Heroes. And then we got, of course, in the following weeks, we got most of your coming. So subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for all that. Make sure to comment down below what you think of these legends. And don't forget to comment down below 100K and drop a like on the video. If any video hits 600 likes, I will be doing a 100K giveaway. And I'll probably stop these after today or tomorrow for a few weeks. So if we don't hit it, it's fine. They'll be coming back all year long to give back to all my subscribers and all my followers and all my viewers and everything. So, guys, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.